Okay, this is a new product that I had just become aware of, and this is called an ATX breakout board module. So basically, this is an ATX power supply from a computer, and I got it out of a, a junk computer. I found it by the dumpster, and uh, uh, I didn't want to like uh, go to a lot of work, you know, to modify it and put uh, terminal posts on it and uh, change the wiring on the inside in order to make it into a power supply. So, you know, it's a lot of work. But I saw this and I thought, wow, this is a really quick and easy way to tap the power of this thing. So anyway, uh, I'm going to plug it in and show what it show what happens. Okay, so uh, this is an ordinary com uh, computer uh, power cable. I plug it in. Okay, as soon as I plug it in. It goes on standby mode, and uh, it's not. It doesn't have. It hasn't sent power to these uh, terminals yet. You do that by pressing the switch. And when you press the switch, the green light comes on. And it's interesting that the green light comes on on the power supply at the same time, showing power is going to the outputs. Okay. So then, what I want to do next is I want to check. I got it set on uh, five volts. The uh, these two. Uh, uh, connections here. Uh, this is for the five volt rail. So I'm just going to put the multimeter on the the negative, and then check it on the positive. And there it is on the multimeter. We can see that it's getting uh, five volts, 5.07, 5.06. Okay, so now I'm going to plug it into uh, this uh, voltage regulator here and uh, see what we can get. All right, so I'm going to plug it in. Okay. All right, so this is set for 12 volts output. And uh, uh, even if this thing is not plugged in, well, wait a minute. As soon as you plug voltage in, it, get, it sends power to there, and it's, it's the voltage regulator is set for 12 volts output. So um, that's, uh, it's able to take 5 volts uh, from uh, supply, and boost it, you know, to 12 volts output if, if you want that. Okay, so I'm just going to go into the settings on the voltage regulator here. Okay, so it's set for 12 volts uh, output and 4 amps. And I'm just going to keep it that way. Okay, so that's, uh, that's it. So it's not showing any output on the amps because there's no load. So I could put a load on it, and then uh, it would show, you know, what the load is. But anyway, uh, I thought this is pretty useful, and it was very quick and easy, and no trouble at all. And uh, I could, uh, I could start using this power supply right away just by plugging it in, and it becomes a useful source of power. Okay, now one thing to watch out for is, uh, let's say we unplug this uh, unit. Okay, this is what you got to watch out for. Oh, there, that went down. Okay, see the capacitors were discharging. And uh, we want to make sure it's completely discharged before you start touching it and handling it. Okay, so that's the end of the video. I hope you liked the video. Thank you for watching.